Hey guys, Mr. Lucas here giving you a tutorial on perusal. Um, now, to log into this website, um, I'll give you the link on Google Classroom. But once you go to that link, it'll ask you to log in. Make sure you use your CTEC uh, Google account to log in. Then it will ask for a class code. That should be on Classroom as well. Once you put in that class code, it should bring you into my class. All right, so this is a test view from, from a student's view uh, on the website. So this is pretty close to what you should see when you're on there. So once you go to the course homepage, um, any assignments, any reading assignments you have for me will be uploaded here in the middle. Um, and then it will give you the option to work on the assignment. So you click that green part. All right. Um, now, the first time you go in, uh, it will give you a tour. Um, you can, I would recommend the first time that you look at it. Um, the first thing you can do, and I'll go ahead and walk through the tour with you here, um, it shows you where over here on the right hand bar, you'll see like these two um, question bubbles or thought bubbles interconnected. It says click here to browse the full list of students' comments and questions. I will have it to where you guys can, um, if you have a question or a comment on something in an article or reading, you guys can see each other's um, questions or comments and that's about as close as we can get to a class discussion in this setting um, so you will have that all right then that star there um, you should be able to click there to see a list of students comments and questions that you yourself have starred for later review so if you're reading through someone or through the article and, and someone posts something you think is really interesting you want to go back and take a look at it just click the star next to it and then you can just click the star over here on the right hand panel and it will bring those up for you all right, next thing says click here to search the contents of the entire uh, book. This probably isn't going to be the case for um, most of, sorry, my mother's texting me. This probably isn't going to be the case for most of uh, what we do in this class. Um, that's typically if you have like a textbook. Um, when students or instructors respond to one of your comments, you are notified here. So if I hop in and I comment to you or another student comments um, on something that you put in there, that'll be in that little message box right there. All right, you click on that and you can see your notifications. Um, now you can take notes that are private for you, meaning if you have a question or comment or you wanna write something down you don't want other people to see, go down to the little pencil here and that's where you can write that. Um, to type text or highlight text or pictures, uh, to copy in with links back to the content, that's where you would do that. All right, so that's pretty much the tour. So let's just go through this article that I posted here. Um, I'll give you a few examples of what I'm looking for. So you should see that you have access to like a little cursor here. Um, you can highlight something like I just did there. So when I highlighted that, um, I can then type a question or comment here. So the founding fathers wanted a republic, not a democracy. It was often said, um, were there any founders who did want a direct democracy? Okay, so to submit that, I would press enter, and then that pops up there. That means if anyone else is looking through this, they can go back and click on that, and they'll see my comment there, and here they can actually respond to someone else. Um, so here's the initial thread right there. So if I wanna say, hey, there were no founders that um, advocated that I can do that um, if I want to back up what I'm saying I can also insert a video or a link to YouTube I can also put in a picture and how cool is this you can use emojis too uh, which is awesome all right and then I can submit that as well all right um, so that's just kind of a basic thing there's lots of other things you guys can do here um, with that you can save and bookmark things as well um, but essentially what this does is it generates a report. If you guys have questions on something in particular, it generates a confusion report and then that allows me to see um, kind of maybe where there's some spots we're not understanding something. Um, and it also has an algorithm that um, doesn't automatically grade you, but it does kind of test the quality of the annotations you make. So there'll be a certain amount of annotations you may have to make um, per reading and I will look at the quality of those, all right? If you just put something like just a question mark there, that's obviously not gonna fly. Um, but it has to be a well thought out question, something that um, is actually you know, 
adding to the conversation. I can tell you're critically thinking about things, you're questioning or you're challenging what's in the reading. You're not just reading it and trying to bullcrap your way through it. Um, if you do that, it's almost as if you didn't even read it to begin with. And remember for the AP exam, they require you to know these required documents um, and they require you to know certain things very well. So this is a really good skill to practice, not just for life, like your friends post something on Facebook that you disagree with um, or you wanna dive into. But it's also good for college as well, uh, when, especially those of you that want to do anything uh, with political science or anything in the liberal arts where you'll, you'll have to take a look at readings, challenge them, question them. Um, this is a skill you really got to start harnessing in right now. All right, so if you have any questions about perusal, you're still confused on something, feel free to email me. Um, we can always do a Google Meet where you can show me your screen, show me what's going on. Um, I don't think with this program, many of your academic support teachers will know um, or are familiar with it. In fact, I think I'm the only one in the whole school that uses it. So if you have a problem with it, your best bet is probably to email me and ask me about it. We can set up a meeting uh, to talk about it, or maybe I can troubleshoot it from the email. All right. So like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot them my way. Um, and it, hopefully this will start to make more sense as we go on. I'm still relatively new to it as well. So there might even be things on here you guys find out that I haven't even figured out yet. So, but that's just a brief kind of scratching the surface of it.